Sir Dante, if you wouldn't mind, describe to me what you look like and what you are doing within the cabin. Oh. Oh my god. Matt, you're real good at this. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 not bad. No. Uh, well, I am a uh, approximately five foot ten turtle. Um, <laughs> Wearing a corsair's hat in brown leather with a with a lovely feather on top, um, a blue and white striped tunic, and a, a half cape of royal gold, uh, gold and royal blue, uh, leather gloves, uh, leather boots. Although uh, the toes cut out because turtle. Um, <laughs> I mean, of course. I have a very fancy rapier and a uh, chained weapon of some kind with a with a claw on it. And at the moment, I am attempting. To oh, I also have a scar on my face, just a little one of those, just something for yeah, some character. Um, and I'm at the moment using my hat to fan the the fire to just see if we can get it a bit warmer in here. And as, as the smoke kind of billows out from your hat movement, it kind of fills that space a bit, and you hear the, the sound of the coughing. <laughs> of Everett Cole, you see the older human in his 60s, kind of a shaggy skullet on the weathered <laughs> skin, uh, deeply kind eyes that are almost hidden within a wrinkled brow that is now kind of overtaken most of the front face, but a warm smile as he turns to you, Coffin. <coughs> well, I appreciate your help there, Sir Turtle. But, uh, the fire's broken. <laughs> it's, it'll be fine. Um, let, let me handle the rest of the tea. You all just relax a minute. Now what? I, I'm just curious about you all. Um, you, um, you there, big fella. I'm sorry the accommodations aren't quite to your scale as we shift over to see Pango. Hello, uh, hi, yes, I'm Pango. Um, I am very tall. I don't really know heights too well. Uh, it's either seven or eight feet. Um, my feet are bigger than yours, so I don't know how that factors in. Um, but uh, I'm big and I kind of, I squint uh, when I'm outside a lot because I'm not used to being outside. I, I grew up under underground, um, and now and now I'm out um, uh, and traveling with my friends and having a grand old time. Uh, you might also notice uh, that most of my purplish skin is is covered up with um, uh, some armor, but which is also tastefully covered up with some very gr uh, green and very fancy duds that my that my friends Sweet Pea and Oppie stole for me in, in the next the last town over. I'm looking pretty <laughs> fresh. They, they say I look fresh. I don't know what that means, but it's, um, yeah. and, and right now I'm just sort of staring over uh, Zarlo's plate, just wondering if he's going to finish all of it, because it looks, well, I need more. Have at it, you dry shite. Are you hungry still? Uh, oh my god. I mean, I don't want to impose, but like, I could, yeah, I could, I could eat. I could make plenty of biscuits if that's what you need. No he need is to fig. Fight. If that fecker fell over, he'd be halfway home. <laughs> well, I, I'm happy to get you a bit of food as well, I suppose. Uh, whatever brings all your own. I'm a fecker? Does that mean I feck? <laughs> What my grandfather always used to say to me is, Zarlo, don't say fucker, it's not polite, say fecker instead. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll use that. Sort of a cheat. Great. I've learned that, all right, fecker, I'm writing that down <laughs> as he goes and walks over to his bookcase. As you kind of sit back and cross your arms with confidence, uh, what what does Zarlo look like? Uh, well, Zarlo is, is sort of the elder statesman of this group, even though he's not that old. Uh, he's been with the larger organization our people have been with, uh, this group has been with for, for quite some time. And uh, while not a mentor per se, sometimes he has to be a bit of a babysitter. They get into trouble a lot. Um, Zarlo is about four feet tall. He's a simia. Uh, lots of brown fur. Uh, has a very regal uh, twined mustache down the sides of his face. A little bit scruff of a beard and there's a shock of white in his brown hair. He has an always active tail that is as communicative as his hands uh, tend to be. And he is wearing like Burning Man pants and a pair of <laughs> stashes going diagonally across his chest, These? holding. Yeah, those yeah. Right there. <laughs> They're all over a rust to brown. Yeah. A lot of people think yeah. Burning Man pants are no pants. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is those pants, but not today. <laughs> in the trees, no less. By the way, I am also perching to be in character like a monkey, but I am. Yeah, I feel like I might fire at any minute. <laughs> but I'm living on the edge, and I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, in the character explode? <laughs> yeah. We were in the that blast That was just Liam, that wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In character, yeah. Too Perfect. Much. I'm good for now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, 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 and his, his cheeks are a little, little red right now, because he's probably had one or two cups too many today. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah. That's how it's 
Production can do that, right? So regal. Oh my god. I'm sorry, the smoke's getting to you too. Here, some more tea to swallow, and he comes up and hands you a hefty mug of hot, steaming. His accent's a little thick. Right, right. Kexen is standing there, holding on to his staff. Um, he has a hard shell that's got uh, blues and purples in it, kind of shiny with lighter bluish green eyes and large mandibles pointing out from his face, very much like a stag beetle. Uh, he has some kick ass, like armored pauldrons yeah. with points yeah, yeah. just for, for flair and maybe a little bit of protection. And he has larger shells that are hiding uh, translucent, like light blue wings underneath mm. his, Work it. his back shell. Um, yeah, and he's just. That's one sexy bug. Sure is. <laughs> and I just, I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of moving like a little, uh, a little trace of arcane energy in between uh, my, my fingers. Uh, and I'll say, um, uh, we've been uh, sent out uh, by uh, our larger group, the, the Grim Wardens. We're we're here to to clean up any mess that we are tasked with. It's it's important to us to to make a name for ourselves. Well, you're all part of the Grim Wardens, and uh, that's a don't normally work this far. This is far to the western side of the continent, so it must be important business, I imagine. We're like a frontier group. We're, we're, we're called the Menagerie, right? Is that what we settled on? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Menagerie. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, um, I'm happy to stay as long as you like, um, be on your way. And, and you friends as well. I, I, I may not have enough to feed all of you, but um, you know what I can oh, find, we don't need I can go ahead. It's okay. Yeah, uh, we eat pretty light. I think the majority of it went to your big friend over here. That's okay. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I can, I, can, I, can, I can try to barf it up if you want some. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. Sure. Okay. I'll work on it. Yeah, all right. In the back. In the back. Oh, go. In the back. Oh, um, I'm going to look for a bucket. <laughs> As the two of you begin to scramble looking for a bucket, uh, can you describe what we see oh, <laughs> running, running around? Running around? The... You see <laughs> one girl who is. Um, Short, but she looks like very tall compared to her her friend here. Um, very slender with a giant cap. Um, she is a fungal. Mm -hmm. um, very like pale, almost a sea green color. Um, and her clothes are very flowy. She wears like a big oversized cardigan, and resting against the wall is her long. I think it's a long staff with a a couple hooks on it. Mm -hmm. Um, and she just looks very free and floaty. <laughs> How short or tall is she again? About four foot. So mm. I'm right around your size. Right. Right, oh. so we got about four foot, about four foot, about... I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it feels like. All righty. <laughs> about five, 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 ten. Five, eight, five, ten. Five, eight, five, ten. Eight feet. Yeah. <laughs> Eight, seven, seven, eight. Yeah. I guess I could be a little taller. No, be your height. I'm kind of loving this. This is this is the anti silhouette test for animation. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's chilling about the same. <laughs> every group photo, Tango's just out of the photo. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's the character from Police Squad. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're like Gandalf with all the hammer. That's true. Yeah. 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 And as, as you're scrambling for a bucket to help uh, Django with his his sudden Pango. need to be Pango. Pango. Sorry, Tango. My bad. Pango. Django. Was Django was my, your brother. My brother. My bad. No, that was Wango. Wango. Django. Django was my father. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's <laughs> mango is just a food that we like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pego. Um, as you're running around the, the, the bucket, you're excitedly preparing for whatever meal you might have regifted to yourself. Well, what are you doing? Audrey? Oh, I, I, I'm looking around too. I'm trying to help find a bucket. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little ribbit. <laughs> um, just sort of sapphire blue skin with, with a, a, a smattering of, of of yellow freckles everywhere, and and huge yellow eyes, and my cloak is made out of leaves, and and a little hat uh, made out of leaves as well, and uh, my staff, which um, I found at the bottom of the river, and it's so sparkly, and it was so shiny, and I just had to get it. And it constantly, uh, a billow of smoke, um, 
What I don't know is it's a cigarillo. <laughs> <laughs> but it's magical to me. Um, I have a uh, little, little, little overalls, and uh, they're they're striped, and you know the little tops of the overall that he calls his little papenders, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little shoes that kind of that, that, that I shove my feet into, uh, so I look real nice and and, and smart and. Uh, uh, my name's Oppie. Um, well, I, I, thank you, Oppie. I appreciate you both helping out. Oh, what did I I'm What's Sweet your name? Pea. I'm Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. Yeah. Oh, pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea and Oppie. That's a, that's a pair. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Yo, pleasure's mine. Again, even though we've yeah. been here for a minute. Uh, do you have a prospective uh, leader of your troop with the menagerie? Uh, you seem to be rather, um, uh, Presentary individual. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> uh, my, it's, it's not always this chilly in the West. <laughs> and I go over to uh, to Sir Dante and I take out my bladed fan and I just start helping him fan the flames just a little bit. And what you see is like a stacked, caked up fawn. Let's go. She is, <laughs> she is curvy. She has kind of a, like a light dusty rose uh, fur tint to her. And even though she is a fawn, she has bunny ears, almost like a jackalope. And uh, she has really like strappy leather armor um, and a little like cropped leather jacket that barely covers anything, but she goes, oh, and she covers up. Are you, are you cold, Miss Bunny? Oh, I can give you my scarf. It's Cardigan. just a little chilly. Oh, oh, I wouldn't want to take anything from you. You're so, you're so dainty. Um, she's got like a lot of, like a kind of a garter that she has a little dagger built into. And then you see on her fan, it's like serrated and has, sharp edges for it that she uses as a weapon, Ooh, cool. as well as has a little a whip that she has wrapped around and it fastened to her belt. Here, Dante. Oh, thank you, uh, dear. Thank you. Here we go. No. Sky, the rest of you watch, emerging out of the nearby brush, a hulking furred mass, a quadrupedal entity. You first catch it. It looks to be a hedge bear, which are like these massive, uh, Kind of natural denizens oh, the of the wood, oh. Um, oh, but this one seems to walk no. with a slight oh. limp on one side, and as it comes in a faint bit of light, you can see its thick fur looks matted and shiny in places. You watch as it takes a few steps out in your direction, its head hanging at one side, its eyes seem to be a bit milky, and you can see from the corners of its face and its snout and its ear, there is a dark, sort of liquid that drips and cakes within its fur. You can see there are bony plates that protrude from parts of its body. It looks to be an unnaturally malformed visage based on what you've previously experienced in your time here. And you hear another growl across the way. Do they look aggro? Uh, they look it, bad. It they look looks fucked up, look yeah, they look bad. bad. It, it's, it's coming towards you. Like it's surrounding a prey uh -huh. that isn't trying to run, Ooh. and it's locked on to. I am it, quietly it, sneaking it, around the back of this one. Spread out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of looking around at my party, I'm, waiting. I'm right now. Yeah. They do I throw, yeah. Are we? Are where are we? <laughs> well, I'll show you right now. <laughs> First map, boy. This map is brought to you by Daggerheart. <laughs> <laughs> Go download it, oh, check it out, oh, try it for yourself. Oh, we're, about to, we're about to roll some dice. Everybody's still cool. alive, oh, first map. This oh, is yeah. cool. So as you're making way through this center path here, okay. we've got all these little fun bits on this nice. space. Nice. Oh, oh, all right, we'll say that Bunny oh, no. is kind of up here doing this performance. Like <laughs> Main stage. Main stage. Oh, While you that, all that, are. Clambered uh, over in this area, kind yeah. of. Yeah. I would have been I would have, I would have started to sneak around the around back this of this way. thing because I've seen her do this before. That's under its minor threat. I gotta work on that spell. <laughs> Side note: Shout out to every artist who worked on these cards. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, and there's still yes. more to come. Yes. Yes. All right. So much more to come. Who wants to come next? All right, I'm going to um, look over at Pango. <gasps> And I instinctively look away. <laughs> <laughs> Pango, listen to me. Pango, look at me. Okay. 
I don't want to look like down. You were like, <laughs> 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 destined. <laughs> you were destined for greatness. <laughs> you know, me it's and just you. Like, you're looking, wait, you're looking up, and you're just seeing boobs, and then you're like the yeah. past yeah. boobs. Just try not making eye contact. No, 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 make <laughs> eye contact. That's <laughs> very weird. Make the rabbit ears. Just look at down. me. Yes, <laughs> listen to me. Just in. Me and you, I think we would make a great duo act. And first, you're going to hear oh, no. a heartbreaking song that starts to play. Me and all of my close allies can take a hope. So anyone Ooh. who's nearby can take a hope. Are we close? Are we close any allies? Of us close? Close. Does that mean close as in relationship or close as in proximity? So. <laughs> that everybody but Sir Dante, unfortunately. Just out of the range of that. Yeah, sorry. Right. Sir! Oh, and, then I, and then I go, why don't we try a little a little duo act, and that's I want right. to do a team up. Are oh, you going to do a tag team roll? Uh -huh. Tag team. All right, that's three hope tag cost team. on that. I'm going to go spend ahead. all three of my hope. I wouldn't have had three without that. All right, so what are you both Woof. doing then? What are we both doing? <laughs> um, you know that like um, that move in like partner dances where like. The one person bends over and the other like uses the back Flips to do like a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Do swingers? that. Yeah, swing yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah swing stuff. I'll do the kicking well, if you I can like launch me, yeah. <laughs> and we can both attack this bear <laughs> that's going after oh, okay. after so you, Kexen. You both rush over here as like a, a, a dancing fire. duet, like spinning over blades and massive blades, swinging as you yeah. do. Um, are you both making attack rolls with your weapons then as part of this tag I'm team? I'm going to use my fans. Using yeah. the fans? All right. Oh, and I can, we can also, I can roll an attack as so, well? So with the tag yeah. team roll, one of you initiates and spends three hope, and you can only initiate it once per session. Yeah. But you both roll, and then you take the higher of the two for Ooh, both shit. of your actions. And if you're both doing damage, you add the damage together. Ooh! Yes. Okay. So both of you, so roll for your attacks. Roll. Also, choose a better for, roll for the two of you. Yeah. Then you combine your I, team up is my, two hope. Use Sons my present. Yes. If you okay. team up with me, it's okay. So I, I will, go. I will do as she said and take her on my back and spin around. But even the, even though she said to just do it once, I'm gonna try to go like around and around and around. And <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> like those like swing moves. Uh, yeah. 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 Lindy Hop. Yeah, Lindy Hop. Exactly. Yep. Bring a fire. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's up. great. That was the shit, man. It was awesome. And with the size okay. differential, he's just like. Yes. Yep. Seventeen fear or. Or, oh wait, nine, ten, uh, fifteen, sixteen with hope. Ooh. I mean, you take. I mean, 16. if we take oh. the hope roll in a tag team move like this, do we both regain hope? How does that work? Uh, in this instance, I just broke the game. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I recall, it's it's. No, you're both getting the roll, so you would both get a hope. Get hope. Okay. Yeah. Should Let's we do that? Yours. It's one lower, but I think six, it'll hit. I think sixteen, 16 will, will hit. hit. Okay, yeah. we'll do sixteen I, with, I hope hit, with hope. Will. Okay, sixteen with hope does hit. Yes! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, get that whole back. Ex Woo. Excited about numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so both of you guys roll your damage yeah, and then add them together. I thought it didn't hit. Okay. Mm, it hits. Okay. Two okay. Eight okay. plus two. Uh, okay. Oh. Even though she did. Nine, For me. Eight, nine. Yes. This I got is 11, 11 damage. Uh, mine is uh, 13. Whoa. Uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, oh, yeah. 24. So 24 so, <laughs> so, plus, so plus 11. 11. So 35 points of damage. Yes. Uh, that is double its oh, severe oh, threshold, oh, which means oh. it has four hit points, which is what it had left. <gasps> That's a, so how do you want to do that? Yay! 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 I feel Come like we're on. gonna hit it straight into our bug friend, but we can't. We should. We shan't do that. No, no, <laughs> no. We shan't. Um. Uh. How do you? How do you? We want to, to do this. <laughs> well, I feel like okay. So we're doing. We may hit him a few times. Hit him a few times. But then you do like a toss, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I do like Dirty a barrel dancing. roll. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I come <laughs> down from the barrel roll, I'm just gonna impale it. Yes, and I will, and I will go up from underneath, and maybe we can oh, like just skew it in the middle. Yeah. In the middle. <laughs> and like just kind of crumbles to the ground as both draw your blades out of the ready. Oh, sorry, sweet beast. Alrighty. Fuck. Whoa. That was that was really. That was really fun. I told you you're a star. Uh, uh, I sort of bend over and walk away a little bit. <laughs> that was that one's paste. Up this here. one's up bad. Here. This one's up. That one's up still. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I see that happen as I watch one of my spectral blades go. Uh, good, I did. Uh, so 11, 16 with hope. 
16 with hope you. does succeed. That mm. Raleigh die made the difference. Uh -huh. So go ahead and roll damage on that. All right, there we are. Uh, seven. Seven? That's only be a minor wound, but it only had one more hit point left. How do you want to do that? Yeah. I'm going to go around. I'm going to grab on to, uh, to I know you're having a difficult time. I'm going to uh, use you as a pivot point to come around and get the sword right through both eyes. Shoot. Like, it carves through on one side, pokes out the other, and it kind of stands there, its jaw just goes, and it hangs <laughs> limp on the blade before. You're so good at the work you do. <laughs> and then I pull out and I'm gonna head I'm gonna head towards Bunny. Or right. I'm gonna head towards the one. Alright, well, yeah. we'll say at this point, yeah. after the whip crack and and the change of the tides, the strange kind of crustacean folk begin to like <laughs> skitter and all begin rushing into the waters. Crabs are leaving. And begin to just vanish beneath the current down below. So you feel in the moment that Victory the ours. danger has subsided. I'm gonna run over and give Pango's legs a hug. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That Good was job, a really Pango. stressful battle. Through the, the center of the spring, and whatever this strange growth is, all of them kind of shake and 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 pull against as the pain kind of emerges oh, the inside. It's definitely nice. reacting to these hits. Nice. Okay, great. Oh, it's still up though, it's still yeah, up. Oh yeah. Okay, 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 we, okay. We, we got a well, right, Is Let's it go. his turn or ours? While they finished their go there, you guys can go. Inspired by their tag team action, uh, I'm going <laughs> to boop, 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 do it also, and <laughs> I'm going to, I turn over uh, to my, my friend Sir over here, mm. and noticing that his, <laughs> That his shell sort of forms a frisbee shape. I'm gonna pick him up. <laughs> I'm gonna put my. I'm, I'm, I'm tucking my feet in, and I look at you. Let's make a molehill out of this mountain. Oh! And I'll spin around. Oh, yes! spin around. <laughs> And I'm gonna throw it like a discus. Hell yeah. I am coming down like a spinning fucking buzzsaw. All right, so you can both roll for your attacks on this, and they can add your weapon damage, and we'll just consider your weapon damage well, as part I'm of it. Well, I'm staying on shore. I, I, because I'm throwing him, I'm staying on shore. Is right. he still adding mm -hmm. weapon damage from because, the Because of the fun of the tag team, it's okay. your momentum of your like, attack into his one, so I'm allowing okay. it, because it's fun. Okay. And that's uh, it's a crit. Oh, wow. Hey! Oh! Well, shit, that means you both get a hope and you both clear stress. Oh! That's an automatic success. Come on! Oh, so go ahead and add your damage up on this. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Clear stress. And if I recall, if it's a crit on attack, you get uh, one of your, you get an, add an additional full yes. damage die. Oh, max, oh, right? Oh, yeah. a, ma a max damage oh, die. Oh, yeah, you add it in a damage And I'm still right. adding this is mine, nasty. and they both do, right? They both do it, yeah. Oh, I'm adding oh, my gosh. damage, oh my god, this is gonna this be is the, This is the optimal fucking scenario for a tag team I don't roll a third die, I just add the max third die. Correct. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. I love this so much. So many dice right here. Oh, that's a one. Did one of yours hit the edge? No, it was just no? locked. Up there, oh, yeah. it was just there. And this is a t this is against Boko or is this 11, against the absence? The absence. You got it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. <laughs> 20. Sally Ho! <laughs> uh, 21 points from me. Sally Ho! Uh, 16, 20. Because I'm using my unstoppable feet uh, to. Unstoppable! <laughs> feature to I believe mine is 18. But you did check. So a total of uh, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 18. 18 and what was yours? 21. 21. Oh yeah, that's thir 39. Uh, how do you want to do this? Oh! <laughs> the two of you together, please describe the scene as you build momentum, swinging, swinging your turtle friend Sardante around. Dagger in the other, just so like I've got the two blades. I pull my legs, arms, and head in as far as I can go. Just blue fabric and blade. Uh, and as as I release a single tear. From the loss of Wango, <laughs> uh, just sort of propels him even higher into the sky, and almost like you know how you throw a frisbee too high and it goes too far, uh -huh. but then it comes back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. frisbee golfed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you land, full on like Levi Ackerman, just slicing into this fucking abscess, just into it. Uh, you are both completely. Sh just coated in in some odd alien viscera, and they're in the middle of this no longer pulsing growth that is currently kind of slowly separating into the nearby and freshly emerging clean spring water from beneath. Yay. You see your now deeply coated and now kind of bobbing turtle. Friend. Heads, head comes out, legs, arms. 
No one dies on this hill today. This is on it's my yes. blue ribbon shit. As that happens, Boko <laughs> stands up angrily, fists kind of raised, and is about to reach to try and like slap and smash Zarlo on the back before the purplish coloration of the eyes begins to fade into a pure white. And then just crushes the rest in its palm until there's nothing left. And you can see like that anger and fury as it clenches its jaw. What did he look like? Did he give it a name? No name. And as it looks to you to answer your question, its face breaks into a hundred small stones that shift. They seem to swing, swirl and rotate and then form a new face, a, an image of an older man, well detailed in stone, uh, kind of sagging jowls, kind of a balding head. Foreign to most of you. Except for you, Bunny. <gasps> you know this man. A con man in CAD named Dylan Broche, who is an occasional patron of the Lily Locket Lounge in Lovell. And that's where we're going to end tonight. <gasps> Right, Grum. See if we ever come yes. back to something we can pick up from there. That was fucking awesome.